Okay, so picture this. I'm sifting through my mail this morning and I see my car insurance notice. And these are typical, they're gonna hike up my rate. I get it, I've seen this before, blah, blah, blah. But this year is different. It increased 14%. But I'm thinking, is this just me? No, many Americans across the US have seen their rates climb nearly 20% in just a year. So what's the deal? Let's get into it. Jerry's got your back. First U.S. case has been detected. There's confirmation the coronavirus has reached Australia. We will be standing up Christmas Island as a quarantine area. I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. Between the pandemic, inflation, natural disasters, and even companies shutting down, it was a cataclysmic tornado of suck. And it was just the start. When people started losing their jobs, they really didn't need to drive as much and they couldn't afford to maintain their vehicles. So many state insurance commissioners issued guidance or directives encouraging or requiring auto insurance companies to reduce or refund premiums due to decreased driving and fewer claims. This was because many people were under the stay at home orders or they were working from home, leading to fewer vehicles on the road and consequently fewer accidents. Insurance companies in many states voluntarily offered refunds, credits or rate reductions in response to the decreased risk and to assist consumers during the economic downturn caused by the pandemic. Sweet, saving money's awesome, right? Not necessarily. You see, as soon as the pandemic lifted, people started driving again. And we all know what happens when people drive, they get in accidents. When they get in accidents, they gotta call the insurance companies. And when they call the insurance companies, you know what happens. No, 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 no. This meant that a number of accidents started to rise post pandemic, but insurance companies were not financially equipped to handle the increased volume of claims. On top of that, due to supply chain issues, car manufacturers and parts suppliers were charging a premium for replacements. This was a wake up call for insurance companies. They began to reevaluate the risk models to account for such unprecedented global events in the future. Insurance is like a safety net. Everyone pays a little bit of money into a big pool by paying their premiums. And this pool of money then helps pay for any big or unexpected costs that might happen to someone in that group. If you get into an accident or there's a house fire, well then the insurance company uses the money from that pool to help cover the cost. If the pool of money gets low because a lot of people are needing it all at once, then the amount that everyone pays or like the premium might go up to make sure that there's enough money in the pool for the future. And with increases in natural disasters lurking in the background, everybody began to wonder if we could just have a redo at 2021 because right now everything just continues to keep getting more and more expensive. So what does the future look like for us? Or is there any hope for us moving forward? The answer is maybe. You see, we're almost three years since the beginning of the pandemic and we're still seeing inflationary prices on everything. And shopping for car insurance post pandemic is a daunting task, especially with the changes that have been brought by the pandemic. However, there are several steps that you can take to make this process really smooth. First, you need to understand your needs and assessing your driving post pandemic can be very helpful. If you're working from home more often, you might not need as much coverage as you did before. Look into telematic programs. You know, some insurers offer programs that monitor your driving through a mobile app or device in your car. And using these devices can lead to significant discounts. Ask about post-pandemic related changes. Some insurers still might offer rebates or reduced rates due to decreased driving. It doesn't hurt to ask, right? Use online comparison tools like Jerry to get quotes from multiple insurers. This will give you a sense of the market rate and will help you find the best deal. Also be aware of any state specific regulations or relief measures related to car insurance post-pandemic. The highways and byways are alive and buzzing with traffic again. But as we try to adapt to this new normal, remember, car insurance isn't just a box to check anymore. You got to be savvy and you got to make sure you always protect yourself and your wallet. Things are getting wild out here, so be safe and be informed. Jerry, the all-car app that's got your back. Because we car.